Welcome back my king and queens. It is queen of queen she me and today I'm sharing with you guys an updated wash day routine. So per usual you guys know I'm going to section my hair off into four even sections and mainly you guys know I'm already going to go ahead with a pre poo and hot oil treatment. So if you're already used to seeing me do this step you can actually skip ahead but if not um, for those who are new to my channel please watch because this is a very critical step to my wash day routine. I never skip it. Now that we have our hair in four sections, as you can see, my hair is very, very stretched from wearing the previous hairstyle. So we're going to go right on ahead into pre poo. Um, I always use coconut oil, you can use olive oil, jojoba oil, castor oil, whatever kind of particular oil you would like. Just primarily just want to make sure you use some kind of oil to actually protect your hair during your wash day routine. And we're just going to go through each section and work this in evenly so that way every hair strand is coated. So that way again during the wash day process your hair is protected. So we're just going to repeat this on the remaining sections of the hair. Um, you guys, for this fall, winter months, pre we're pretty much in winter now, you guys. And I've noticed a tremendous difference in my hair this time of year, um, especially since last year. So um, I've learned that I need to use thicker products and it actually helps with protecting my hair. So now that we have every section thoroughly pre-pooed, we're going to go right on ahead into our hot oil treatment using our Jamaican black castor oil and you just want to apply a very liberal amount of this to the scalp you can pretty much go overboard I do and you just want to really make sure that your oil is either pretty much very warm or almost hot and then you just want to really make sure you massage your scalp very well to help with the blood flow circulation and to just stimulate your scalp and this also helps to promote hair growth it helps to prevent any dryness of the scalp and it also helps with thinning edges as well So after applying your castor oil, you just want to leave this on your head for about 30 minutes to an hour, protect it with a shower cap or a shopping bag, whichever you prefer, and then we're going to go right on into our wash day. Lately I have been using the Dark and Lovely Cleansing Conditioner, and you guys I love this stuff. It actually does suds when you actually apply water to it, and I've been switching between that one and the Pantene um, Conditioning Co-Wash as well. So um, today we're going to go in with the Dark and Lovely Cleansing Conditioner, you guys, um, just because I just love the way it clarifies my scalp. And then with this other one, I just love how much it adds moisture back into the hair. So um, after doing my co-wash, um, we're going to go in with a deep conditioner. I have been rotating between three particular deep conditioners this fall and winter months. And it has been the Twisted Sister, it has been the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey, um, you guys saw my actual review and demo of this collection, and this Curl Girl Unstressed Deep Moisturizing Mask. I actually got that from my curl kit, so I will leave that video listed down below. So which of the three shall I use today? <laughs> Quite sure, because I love all three. But we're going to use the Twisted Sister today because it is phenomenal. And as you can see, it is a thick consistency. You guys, it goes into the hair like butter, as you guys will see me apply it in a second. Like, look at that. It just glides right into the hair like butter. Like, look at my curls pop. It smells so good. It's very hydrating. It has amazing slip. Um, that's primarily why I love it and it just really helps to really smooth the hair cuticle down as well when I'm wearing my two strand twist so that's really why I like it it helps to minimize frizz so this is what it looks like with the conditioner actually all on my hair and we're just going to put this away and as usual into a two strand twist to just make sure that my hair is still detangled 
and we're just going to repeat this process throughout the rest of my hair now this side I haven't applied any product this is just with it being freshly clean and as you can see my hair is very soft it's bouncy you can see my curl definition as well and my scalp is just clean overall so that dark and lovely cleansing conditioner is phenomenal So on the back you guys my hair is a type 3 texture um if you can tell it's really not very tight like how it is around the crown um so that's why a lot of times my hair is a lot longer in the back because it does have shrinkage but not as much as my type 4 hair again at the crown of my head versus in the back near the nape where it's more of a type 3 um and you guys i just love my natural hair i'm just obsessed with it like it had to have been the best decision I have ever made in my life to just go back to being natural. Well, you can't go back to being natural. It's just being able to really love who you really are in your natural state. So I'm just going to put it that way. So we're just going to continue working the deep conditioner through. It's just phenomenal. Look at that curl definition, you guys. This is just a phenomenal deep conditioner. I came across it in Burlington. It was originally like $11 and I only had to pay $4 for it. And I wish I would have bought in the other two that I saw on the shelf. So again, we're gonna apply a plastic cap. And this time with deep conditioning, you guys know I deep condition primarily try to overnight. But this time we're going to actually have to deep condition it for more about five to six hours. So I'm just applying my turby twist like I normally do. And I just twist it and then I just pull it towards the back and secure it with the elastic band. And we're just going to decondition for again about five to six hours. So you guys, I love this Twisted Sister deconditioning mask. Definitely get your hands on it. It's definitely a part of my new favorite um, deconditioner collection. Okay, queen. So for styling, I'm going in with the lock method. I'm using my favorite leave-in conditioner from Eden Body Works. I'm going in with my Marula oil from Marula Nature and choice of cream today was his Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I have a full review on this you guys. That is pretty much it though for this video you guys. That is my updated wash day routine. As you can see, after using that deep conditioner, my hair has like literally no frizz. My curls are popping like it's just so beautiful. It's just my hair shafts are just so smooth. My scalp is cleansed and it's just perfect. So as you guys know, if you've been following me on my Instagram, I have been rocking my mini twists for the longest now, primarily just for protective styling and try to protect my hair. As far as doing anything else in my wash day routine or just overall in general on my natural hair journey, I haven't changed much except for just if you've already noticed, um, my hair has been growing. I am still taking the hair affinity pills, but you guys, my wash day routine is pretty much simple, basic, and to the point. And that is pretty much all that I have been doing on my wash day routine since the weather has changed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, my queens. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Be blessed.